I don't know who needs to hear this, but telescopic repair fittings don't belong on the discharge of a valve, especially when they're not fully extended. Here's why. You see that little white thing at the bottom? Those are the fittings attached to that K-Rain valve that was installed there. Now when I open this solenoid up, watch that white line right there. What do you think is happening to the main line directly underneath this valve right now? Now, when I close the valve, pay attention to that white line there in between all that glue. Oh man, I really shouldn't be holding my head over the valve because one of these days that's gonna open and close and that valve's gonna go flying 60 feet up into the air. Well, I gotta fix that now. And there you have it. There's the slip fix that caused the problem. Yes, the pipe is full of dirt, but that's what happens when the water shuts off and all the mud washes back down. We got it exposed. I'm going to remove the threaded coupling that's down there or the nipple so that I can come up and 90 over and flush the water out that direction. Let's get that done. This property manager just learned the difference between a standard valve and a scrubber valve. There goes the property manager. We've got it repaired. Now, we definitely didn't reuse or use another telescopic repair fitting because that's what caused this problem. We went ahead and did a 490s repair, mostly because the pipe coming out of the ground is coming out at an angle. And if I were to try to 90 directly into that pipe, it wouldn't have matched up because the angle was coming out like this. So that wouldn't have worked. This was the solution here. All that's left to do is put the boxes back in the hole, put the dirt back around the boxes, and then we're on to the next one.